Welcome back for round three of Modern Mondays here at Guardian Games, and we are Portland Paper bringing you said event. My name is Curran Delahanty, joined by Ian Lunger, and we are here for round three. Travis Cooper on Just Kai Control versus uh, Kai Kraus on Is It Storm? Yeah, our very own Travis Cooper, who is oft in the booth, but uh, when we find Travis out in the wild, pretty much always on Just Kai Control, except for that one week where Travis was uh, played Boggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which was uh yeah which was maybe a trying his, time for him <laughs> his least favorite maybe his least favorite week of modern ever he was i he's rarely rarely that grumpy after playing magic <laughs> um, well he's very excited tonight because not only did he replace some outer sleeves but he replaced his perfect fits on his cards new banning era new new magic uh you know protectors yeah, yeah i haven't seen him this excited since the faithless looting ban all right, and here we go, off to the races. Good thing Travis is out there to remind him about the uh, left yeah. total thing. <laughs> yeah, we're in we're in good hands out there. So, um, it is always fun. Admittedly, it's always fun to see Travis play Just Guy Control. He's been playing this deck for a long time, so um, very proficient at this archetype. Uh, Kai has also obviously earned earned their way to two and zero here at Modern Mondays. So. Um, I assume also a very proficient Storm player. Yeah, Should Blue be a Red fun Storm. One. I actually, uh, surprisingly, as little as my modern knowledge goes, I know uh, quite a bit more about Blue Red Storm than mo most decks because it's actually something my one of my playtesting partners plays frequently in modern. Um, so it's kind of exciting to see a different Blue Red Storm list uh, get played out, and I'll be interested to see the decisions Kai makes versus uh, the guy I test a bit, quite a bit against, or mm -hmm. you know, how similar the decisions might be. And I think if Travis didn't know what Kai was on initially, I think the sleight of hand um, gives it away. Ser Absolutely. Serum Vision's maybe like a bit more ubiquitous cantrip. You could maybe see that in something like Blue Moon. Um, but seeing sleight of hand, I think I think it pretty much cements in your mind that you're probably playing against is a storm. Kai, on the other hand, may still be uh, unsure. Um, seeing opt does say something, you know, the choice of opt instead of something like sleight of hand or serum visions um, signals that maybe Travis is looking to interact a little more. Maybe signals that Travis is not on is a storm. It looks like Travis has just identified the matchup and now he just wants to go aggro. <laughs> yep, uh, Travis clearly has identified this matchup and just runs out the naked Snapcaster. Um, because if you give this Storm deck infinite time, you will eventually, they'll eventually find a way to assemble a kill. So uh, getting, getting some pressure on and forcing the deck to maybe um, go all in before they want to is a pretty big deal. Oh, wow. Okay. Looks like Brawl will meet the bull, which will get remanded with last mana. Now, this is interesting. This feels a little all in on Kaizen, but then again, he does have Metamorphose in hand. Yeah, And actually, he gets to uh, right. Brawl. He gets to loot with Brawl. So I actually really like, I really like this play from Kai's side. Wow. Yeah, he's navigating this very, very well. All right. Yeah, Metamorphos. Oh, it's possible we could see some hot, hot storm action here. Yeah, with our hot, hot storm counter. Oh, if yeah. If I can figure out. Let's see, I think we're so at storm six. six. Yep. Storm seven. This, I think this is it. Um, if Travis doesn't have... If Travis doesn't have the... Uh, like a force of negation right here for this gifts, which it looks like he doesn't. I think Kai should just yeah, be able Kai to... Yeah, Kai should be able to put a, together a wind pile here. Yep. Okay, Storm is six right now. Or now seven. Storm is seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We're right on, right on track. Get some rituals, get a pass in flames, and does he get the uh, green spell, the regrowth, or... No, it's... Just grape shot. That also works. Yeah, I think 
the Noxious Revival is what I was thinking of, but... Alright, so yeah, uh, Travis is going to just put all the mana away. I can't see what the number is on the die that I want to say one and one to. each. Interesting. So if that's the case, then Kai's may Ka have to call it quits for this turn. He may have another ritual in hand. No. You know what? Is that a mistake? Is Kai supposed to go three rich or like? Oh is no! He supposed is he going to go... grape shot remand it anyway? Yeah. No more mana. So Kai won't finish the game here. Um, puts himself in a good position. All right, and then, yeah, just shoot Travis down to 10. This huh. is very interesting. Are you surprised that Kai didn't decide to just put one of those grape shot points at the Snapcaster? Uh, you know, because he had Baral out, I wasn't surprised, but that bolt just really ate it up there. So, I, I mean, he had a 1-3 as a blocker, so I don't think he was concerned about having to worry like a snapcaster in play. I don't think he was concerned about it. Kai with multiple empties in hand. So I could actually see potentially just an, an empty for two copies here. Uh, after this, just make four version. goblins. Yeah. Yep. That yeah, doesn't seem the, like the worst thing in the world. Yeah. I think if you've gone that aggressive on grape shot, you you're sitting on some rituals and it looks like you have, uh, I think there were two empties and we have the past in flames in hand. So, um, Travis going down to nine, I think. Yeah, that new... So, yes, there's that new modern counterspell. If anybody remembers the name of it, that would be helpful. But remember, modern does also have Flusterstorm. And Flusterstorm sees almost no play in modern at all. Modern has Flusterstorm? Yep. Since when? Since Modern Horizons. It was printed in Horizons? Yeah, it was the buy a box promo in uh, Modern Horizons. But it's not really played. Uh, thanks, Cute Bunny. I'll go ahead and bring it up here. Oh, uh, yeah. But what about... Uh... Okay, let's take a look. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I did not no. even think yeah. about that. So that you can counter Valica triggers because they all go on the stack at the same time if you're scape shifting into it. Or I suppose um, Field of the Dead. Yeah, escape shift. It, is, it seems great against something like escape shift that has all the triggers go on the. What about this card, counter flux? Well, that only. Yeah. That only counter spells. This is hitting abilities here. Yeah. As well, so. Um, and it's obviously much much easier to cast. That's wild. It's it's not bad. I mean, no, I, I do good. kind of like it. Yeah. I did have that cast against me in the pre-release. It was pretty dope. <laughs> I think it's cool design, too. Um, I like that it's fairly easy to track in that, like, uh, I guess it's just as difficult to track as Bluster Storm. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, so six goblins enter play after some storming on Kai's end here. Cast a few spells, cast and empty the warrens, no big deal. Oh man, snapcasters go to war. Travis says, who's the aggro deck now? And rips big Teferi off the top. We did read the flavor text, no, no, and no. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's very... 
it's very blue. <laughs> yeah, it's a very it's a very blue thing. I almost wore my uh my my uh shirt with a little island symbol that says I think not and the O is the blue symbol. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Almost wore that shirt. <sighs> So, pretty tight game here. Um, I believe Kai still has the pass in flames in hand, so Travis has to be aware that, you know, Kai does not necessarily have to win through combat here, and a pass in flames line that uh, results in a grape shot is another another fine way of finishing this game if you're on uh, Kai's side. What a... Uh... What do you suppose Travis is thinking about right now? Really trying to calculate total damage. So uh, if Teferi is, like, can he fetch? Things like that. Yeah. Um, he's, I, I think Travis is feels like needs to, he needs to not die on the backswing. Boom. Add away. Put him to three. Make yep. him feel the pressure. <clears throat> Have the Snapcasters back on blocks. Seems good. And then just pray that, you know, you don't get grape shotted here. Yeah, so Travis being at eight. Um, I don't think Travis has any interaction here. No, so I, I think if Kai just casts Pass in Flames and then goes through the Manamorphosis in graveyard, in graveyard, grape shots with whatever the highest storm count he can get to is and then attacks, that'll be good enough. I think the, yeah, so that makes sense. Attack first, see how much damage you can get through. Put him to five. Cast Pass and Flames. Let's go. Do you have the Force of Negation? Answer is not so much. Okay. Yeah, Travis just uh, making him, making Kai find the line. Kai did find the line, and uh, we will be going to game two. Storm's a good deck, huh? <laughs> Storm's cool. I, I quite like these kind of um, Storm against blue deck matchups. Yeah. I think there's a lot of play. I'll be curious to see the amount of sideboard hate that Travis does bring in. Yeah, so let's talk about um, what does Travis have available on the board? That's a good question. I took a picture of the Storm players. We'll go to that after. Oh, I, I have oh the, no, I took Travis's yeah, board. I, have I apologize. The, uh... Uh, so we have two copies of Ashiok Dream Render, which seems pretty good in the matchup, I would say. Uh, there's this copy of Stony Silence, doesn't do anything. Is it Satacaster? Really only good against Empty the Warrens. Uh, Celestial Purge, not too much. Flash Freeze. <laughs> um, this might be a time where we see Flash Freeze come in. I'm not sure if he'll actually commit to it there. Uh, wear Terror Ceremonies, Rejection, Dovin's Veto seems like a decent spell. I don't know uh, if that's, yeah, what exactly needs to come in. Two Surgical Extraction, though, and one Dispel and three Mentor. Uh, dispel looks really good here. I kind of like Surgicals. I mean, it's a Pass and Flame strategy to a degree, so. I'm medium on Surgical. I think if you have stuff you really want to take out, I think Surgical's fine. Yeah. Um, I definitely would bring in the Static Caster. Um, I think that's like, if you're just able to straight up trade out something like a Supreme Verdict for an Is It Static Caster, that seems good. I would do that. Um, what do we have in uh, the Storm players? On board? Kai's side, we have Dismember, Anger of the Gods, two Aria Flames, two Abrades, two Bolts. Uh, one Factor Fiction, two pieces of the puzzle, two Echoing Truth, and two Spell Pierce. Huh. So, I think the big question on Kai's side is do you bring in Aria Flame? Um, and I think if you do, you probably bring in the Factor Fiction and the pieces of the puzzle. You kind of go on a... You, you know that the game's going to get elongated, and you kind of lean into that a little bit with a win con like Aria Flame. Right. <clears throat> I would be hesitant to lean into the Empty the Warrens strategy if I'm on Kai's side. Yeah, I don't know if he's, like, expecting Static Caster or any kind of mass removal um, for the goblins. I mean... Blue white is traditionally going to be able to pack some kind of board wipe, I guess. So the deck being blue white red, he probably doesn't want to be on the empty plan. 
Right. What do you think about um, Spell Pierce in the matchup on Kai's side? On Kai's side, so being able to Spell Pierce like a Force of Negation while Travis is tapped out seems good. Uh, being able to Spell Pierce like a Narset if uh, Travis is tapping for that instead of holding up counter spell seems good. I don't know. I like Spell Pierce in a few different places here. Mm-hmm. So, I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if Kai brought it in. Nor would I. I am actually... So, Travis sent me his deck list on mm -hmm. Goldfish, so I will post that in chat if people would like to see Travis's deck list. Give me a moment. Hmm... Oh. oh, no ads. Apparently I can't. Uh, apparently I have it so that I can't post links from the, the other account that I have. So give me a second while I figure this out. Current Ola. I'll, take, I'll the... take the wheel here for a moment. Um, opening hands are being drawn. Travis is looking at some questionable things. Oh, Mystic Sanctuary tap pass. Steam events pass. We're off to the races. Oh, there's the flash freeze. There's the flash freeze in. All right. So Travis brought it in. <laughs> My man. <laughs> That's a supreme verdict, too. Jeez. Force of Negation to Fairy, Jace. What's that other spell? I wonder. In response, we will cast Opt. All right, chat. That is Travis's deck list for the evening. Feel free to take a peek. The fairy coming down. Just going to plus instance off forever. No more instance. I think if you're on Kai's side, you might be reading Force of Negation on Travis's side. It's pretty bold to tap out for something like Teferi if you don't have a Force as backup. Yeah. Kai might be taking this as an opportunity. He's going to echoing truth to Teferi in the main phase. I think uh, worth noting that Travis does have two Narset parter avails, which yeah. I think are like an extreme house in this matchup. Oh, yeah. Narset is stupid good against Storm. Oof. So that so, was the main phase echoing truth. It looks like Travis is going to say, all right, do it again. I feel like this is if we so, back. If Kai's willing to bounce the Teferi knowing that Travis is going to recast it, I feel like Kai's got to go for it this turn. That's an Aria Flame. Okay. And this That's a big should net target. the force. Yeah. yeah. Especially if Travis maybe wasn't expecting it and hadn't boarded in specific answers to Aria. Exiled! Come on, Travis. You know magic cards. Oh, Travis knows it. He he reminds me like all the time, but it, maybe he didn't catch. Uh, if it becomes important, then we will uh, we'll deal with it. Uh, I just don't want Kai to sit there and make some kind of plan with it. I don't know. Like I don't think there's any delve cards, and I don't think it can be recurred in any case. Oh, rips another Aria off the top. Like a champ. Yeah. Wow. That's uh. What a rip. That's what you want to do. What you doing over there, Kai? But Travis does have his whatever that card is that I don't know why we're playing. Wait, which card? It's that one. That one. That one. That counter spell for red or green. That's actually would be good here. <laughs> What's it called? Flash freeze. Flash freeze, dude. Yeah. Better than aether gust. Wow. He drew another force negation. <laughs> What a what a monster. That Aria Flame is still exiled, my guy. That's just bothering me personally now. You, you can go. Uh, yeah, I'm going yeah. to peek. Kern's going to correct the board state. Ah, uh, there we go. 
I can be at a peace again. <laughs> <laughs> Board state restored. Yeah, letting that swamp go earlier in round one, man, that took a lot of control from me. That took a lot of control from me. But <laughs> it didn't matter in the end, so... <laughs> Oh, man. We get the fetch, pre-discard step, and then Kai's going to have to send a card to the bin. I imagine if... Okay, so Travis, looks like we don't have any pressure quite yet. Oh, I cannot... That's another force of negation? Wait, yeah. how many uh, does this man play? So many forces. We can we can know that information. It looks like Travis is playing three force of negation. That's all three of them. That's yeah. all three of them, Ian. Why? <laughs> Why is he like this? There we go. So end of turn, Travis. Bolt, is... snap, bolt. Yeah. Wow. Get the power in. He's like, spell snare too. This man cannot be stopped. Mm -hmm. Cannot be stopped. Yeah, this, Kai, you this have so looks much like to play a through, buddy. difficult position for Kai. Like, he can sit here and make land drops all day, but I am waiting for the stack. Yep, here we go. Aria Flame on the stack. Do it. Yeah, Travis has to decide how much this matters. Uh, Is Teferi, he can, it? Teferi can bounce it. Okay, Force of Negation comes down. Thanks for exiling that, Kai. You Hard earned a gold force. star. Manamorphos. Does that resolve? Travis has spell snare. Do it. Do it. Put him in the grave. Yeah, I Nope, it draw he's I think draw. I think I wait to Do it to this one. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess getting Electromancer is way better. Now right? this might draw the well, it depends on if Travis still has a removal spell, but this might draw the spell snare. It did. Yep. Add away. Get down. And uh, Travis can counter with impunity here as Teferi is on the battlefield. All right. Still has a force negation and a flash freeze, and now cryptic command. Can't stop drawing relevant cards. <laughs> the deck is, I mean, the deck is full of, especially post board, full of relevant Never cards. Never didn't in the have it. And this has got to kind of feel like this has got to feel like a tough lock if you're Kai. Kai is looking at a past in flames, which is usually good against the like mono counter spell deck, but a force of negation is is quite good against past in flames. Quite. And as we know, although Kai does not, um, there are already there is there is a third force of negation in Travis's hand. So the Echoing Truth targeting Teferi again has Travis in a just wondering, should I counter this or should I wait? Uh, if I were him, I'd probably put the Teferi back in my hand and uh, wait. <laughs> I have such a hard time with bounce spells. I, when I see bounce spells happen and then like turns passed after that, I feel like I'm just like burn, wow. burning money. Nah, <laughs> counter draw, okay. Still have force of negation, still is perfectly protected here. It's possible that Travis is like actually trying to make Kai play, in, like that that Travis is, is intentionally trying to make Kai play something like a pass in flames here. Um, oh, and there's a pass in flames in the yard, which is even more relevant. Because, like, he can uh, use the one in the yard and get that countered and not feel as bad uh, with the one in hand. But I'll be interested to see which direction we go here. Oh, that's going to eat a force. See ya. Probably, right? It has to, yeah. The third one. I had it the whole time. Ha, ha, ha. Force pitch Jace. The grape shot. We could see this grape shot come out Oof. and take out the Deep Teferi up. and the Snapcaster. This is super solid. Kai has done a fantastic job of kind of navigating to a board state where 
there's there is a pass in flames in the yard. So if if Travis is not still sitting on relevant spells, dude, Travis still has flash freeze, the most true. relevant spell in this matchup. Yeah, Tra <laughs> Travis, as we know, Travis has snapcaster. Is a, is it staticaster and flash freeze still in hand? So. <laughs> Um, still, still kind of. Travis is still working with some gas here. Oh wow! Back on the aggression train. We're gonna remain the uh, flashback op. Seems like good value there. Yep, it's great. Oh, yep, he did bring in spell pierce. Okay, that is interesting. And um, players aware of the clock playing a little bit faster here. Looks like Travis has sped up the pace of play just a touch. And let me get our clock correct here. Yeah, a little bit more time than we were advertising, but still pretty, not, not a lot of time in a match. Oh boy, there's the Electromancer. I think Travis just said, that's cool, you got it. Oh, yes, get frozen. <laughs> so let's take a look at, uh, <laughs> let's take a look at Travis's <laughs> special sideboard tech. Anybody uh, been around in the game long enough to remember Flash Freeze from like Core Set 10, M10, M11, M12? that era m11 i think was the last time it was printed um that was a fun color cycle and also here comes spell spheres on the flash freeze shutting it down no all i wanted to do was see flash freeze win i haven't seen it in so long i actually i was really hoping that the flash freeze would get remanded again and then the difference would be that Travis chose to play Flash, flash Freeze instead of uh, Aether Gust, <laughs> which can hit permanence on board. But uh, but Travis's choice of Flash Freeze stands up. Wouldn't wouldn't have mattered if it was Aether Gust. Oh my god! Quite a quite an interesting game we've got here. Yeah, this is bit like as much as counter as as many counters as Travis has drawn. <laughs> This has been a really interesting game. Uh, Kai's like trying to figure it out, trying to put it together. I, th I think he just needs. I think he's gonna try for it. Cause no. <sighs> what what now? Ooh, oh, Travis rips geez, uh, surgical off the top. That's so, so rude. Can, <laughs> can I see your graveyard? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Kai does know. Travis had put a force on top with the, uh, whatchamacallit, Mystic Sanctuary. So, uh, what do you do? Surgical Grape Shot and win the game? Is um, that how the, the deck is built now? <laughs> you take Grape Shot and the game is over? I guess with Static Caster in hand, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that choice. Because um, tra Travis does have the... What is that red card? Okay. Oh, goes right. for pass in flames. Add three red. Oh, it's just a desperate ritual with a different art. Okay. That was confusing me. All right. Well, all the pass in flames are out now. Um, of note, uh, there was not another Pass in Flames in the deck, so uh, Kai playing only two Pass in Flames. I guess Travis is just trying to draw the Bolt and Snap Bolt. Yeah, I don't, without a Pass in Flames line available, I don't know what a win looks like if you're on Kai's side. He I mean... Looks I think he looks like I think you're you're thinking that you have to if you're on Kai's side you're thinking that you're you're going to have to go for an empty line here to realistically be able to put a, enough pressure but Travis actually has that covered in the static caster. Although it's actually a big game for Travis if Travis can go to game 3 without showing that static caster is in his deck. So I think if I'm <laughs> Travis Oh yeah, that's right. I do 
I do basically everything I can to not show the static caster here. I think you did, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, so, and I think that's a, that's a big win for Travis here to get out of this game with not only with the W, but having not revealed the static caster. Yeah, hidden information is always always good to have. All right, game three. Yeah, Yavin, that was that was a fun one. I I really love this matchup. And especially we have two very proficient players playing in the matchup, so yeah, they're uh, they're definitely flexing their knowledge uh, throughout their gameplay here. Yeah, uh, they only had like three snapcaster. Travis only had like three snapcasters, a bold, and a bunch of lands in game one. So but that's it was kinda... you know, Jess guy's gonna have that problem in game ones a good amount of the time. It's gonna have that whole jund issue, right, where you can draw the wrong half of your deck. And but that's you play these decks for the post board games because, you know, Travis looks like he's just drawing straight heaters off the top, but it's because the deck is full of straight heaters after board. Yeah. Like you you don't have dead cards after that. Um, it's especially nice too because this storm deck relies on some creatures to go off. So uh, Travis can keep things like Bolt that are extremely versatile and can act as both creature removal or can be the reach needed to finish the game. All right. It's about 11 minutes on the clock. A healthy amount of time to finish up game three here. Kai on the play. Gets to establish probably the first cantrip. Well, that's a welcome sight. If you're on Travis's side, flip your hand over. First thing you see is force of negation surgical extraction. All right. Mystic Sanctuary. Cute. Yeah, the Mystic Sanctuary in hand is pretty meh. You don't really want that in your opener, but as long as Travis has access to some other lands or some cantrips to find other lands, did I, I think it's... five drop to fairy? I yes. I did. Yep. Plains. Yeah, it looks like he's got some other land, too. A fetch and a plains, I believe. I'll, I think that's an easy keep if you're on Travis's side. You don't want to... Uh, and opt, yeah. You don't want to hemorrhage too many resources in this matchup, and Force of Negation is such a strong card to have that as long as you feel like you can kind of draw into the mid game at an okay place, then it seems like a a, a pretty safe keep. All right, down six, and here we go. Island and Mystic Sanctuary opt at the end of turn. Says all right. Got a lot of Mammorphos all of a sudden over there. And uh, Travis also going to opt. Not a land. <laughs> Yike. Planes and over to Kai. So I think Travis has another opt for the next turn. So would be pretty unlucky for Travis to break on land drops here. The Morphos. Can I get the colors and the card, please? I think Travis has practiced like the exact amount of time he waits before he says that resolves, like regardless of whether he has counters in his hand. <laughs> you I've, know, I've noticed that playing against Travis too. I think he does a very good job of like bluffing a that brief he a brief pause for yeah. everything. But it's not too like it keeps the game moving at a relevant pace. Absolutely. Like yeah, him being able to practice stifling the time that he would take to consider countering something every time is is big cuz yeah. like it's such a it's such a bad moment when you're a control player and you're like hold on that's on the stack. That's like right. that's like a huge giveaway. Right. And it's so, you know, uh, as a control player, that's a very good practice habit to have. I hate doing that in cube, by Ooh, the way. Ooh, so it had to pass here. Yeah, I don't Okay, know. we see an opt on end step. Uh, yeah, put that on bottom. Where are the lands? Okay, okay there we found, go. Found an island here. 
and a Delta. Marset is huge game, but it'll yeah. probably just be played in a remand unless he you, decides to force yep. him to the remand. Right. I well, you, you can't. Uh, it's your own turn. So, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So the interesting thing about force of negation, right? That you you can't use it uh, for its free it's cost force to force <laughs> through to force through your own spells. So I think Travis making the correct choice and not slamming the Narset here. Um, Travis got to see Kai's deck list previously and saw that there was a decent bit of counter magic between Spell Pierce and Remand. Um, and Narset is a an extremely key card in this matchup. Here we go with a pyretic ritual. I am I guess he's going for an empty pile yep. here. Which I really like if I'm on Kai's side. Yeah. Now, well, Tra Travis looks like he's going to contribute. And, and this is actually going to help, yeah. It's the sort of thing... Decides to contribute to Storm Count. It's Kai's ultimate plan of just casting some empties. Travis has seen the deck, so has Kai just go ahead and f find him. Double check. I mean, well, if I were Travis, I would double check for reboarding. But so the nice thing about this line that Travis took with Surgical is he got to see Kai's hand before this ritual resolves. So Travis is actually going to be able to stop this before it happens by forcing the ritual, yep. and therefore the storm count built up will not help kai to cast the empty this turn and the prior ritual hits the exile pile too which doesn't help for later game uh pass in flames as right. well right and conveniently travis has the mana up to pay for spell pierce so um what looked like a rather innocuous play with the surgical extraction was actually extremely heads up there yeah we've talked a bit today about where surgical extraction should be and where it shouldn't be. Yeah. This is one of those matchups where, you know, even I was saying I wasn't really sure about surgical, but information is so important in this matchup that um, Travis getting the information was pretty key. So pyritic ritual off the top. No way to snap back for us. So this is interesting because he's going to be able to empty. Okay, he's, oh, hold on. Pause. Okay, so the islet is on the stack. So it's in yard and the draw is on the stack. Draw resolves. Cast empty for There's four goblins. Six. Six? Four. Four. Yeah, you're right. Four. It's not the most impressive empty in the world, but it's something. And if I'm Travis, I'm just praying to rip that static caster right yeah. now. And hopefully Kai has some goblin tokens. Nice. Wonderful. Snapcaster surgical target empty seems like a good play. Looks a little bit like more information. Remand. Plenty of counters in Kai's hand. So yeah, man, I don't know if Travis just rips the guy, the the three guy, it's over. <laughs> if he does, but I mean, this is not, that's no guarantee at all. Yeah. Um, otherwise, Travis's position is difficult, and you see him fetching. There's also a verdict in the deck, though. Yeah, and actually, Travis fetched a hollowed fountain here, so Ooh. Travis doesn't have access to red currently, which signals to me that either there's, that, that maybe Travis is looking for a verdict, which makes sense with the Narset in hand. Maybe Travis felt like if 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 Narset is Narset will be able to find Verdict, but not a Staticaster, so plays to his outs, even cutting himself off red to play for Verdict. Cryptic and a Narset, probably taking Cryptic. <laughs> 
right? I would maybe... Uh, well, I guess Narsa might get just attacked down in the ground, but... Yeah, I think... Oh, I, wow, yeah. I think I chain Narsa uh, here. Prep the backup. Because, again, just drawing any random card off of Cryptic is not nearly as important as the card selection, I think, that Narset's going to give you. All also, of, of note, Travis is sitting on five mana only and knows about the spell pierce in Kai's hand. Yeah. So Cryptic is a kind of a risky... Risky take. Yeah, risky take in that case. All right, so Narset coming back down again, according to plan. Gets remanded. This is such a tight game here. Tap Talad Fountain. Okay. Oh, it looks like Kai ripped a passive. It's a passive flames. Yeah, and... I see a passive flames. And is that a serum powder? No, that can't be serum powder. Yeah. No. No, that's Gibson given. Never mind. <laughs> that's a Gibson given. Travis. Travis trying to make sure we speed things up a bit here. This is pretty enormous. Wow, passive um, flames going right off. And yeah, with passive flames plus gifts, I think that three red. I think Kai will be able to finish this off. And interestingly enough, uh, actually, Cute Bunny noted a while ago that it was possible that Travis should have surgicaled the Manamorphose. Um, yeah. And we had surgicaled instead, I think, a cantrip, maybe like Serum Visions. Yeah, the and, first surgical was aimed at uh, Serum Visions instead of Manamorphose. And we, <laughs> so humble, Cute Bunny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, we we do note that Cute Bunny does end up being, it, I believe, correct here in that I'm, I'm not sure if Kai would have won in any case, um, but Manamorphose allowing Kai to filter the red into blue, which allows that... Um, gifts to be cast here is kind of a big game. But, you know, you, like as a, as a watcher, you have to be a fan of a matchup that's decided by such a small decision, such a small margin. Yeah. Um, <sighs> love to see matchups where micro decisions matter. And this has been one of those matches. Yeah, Kai, Kai's build-up here is strictly because of that small decision that was made by Travis. Okay. These. This. And that. So we have two rituals, a Morphos, and a Grape Shot. Hit time again. Wow. What a... We've been on a roll tonight. What a set of matches. Yeah. <laughs> they ban Oko and... And all know, of a sudden we... we all we of our matches go to time. People said so the Oko much. decks were slow. Now, this, this match has actually been, I think, played at a fairly brisk pace. And yeah. just has been very grindy. So I, I think all of our matches today have been played at very reasonable brisk paces, um, but just a lot of a lot of relevant decisions. Travis just trying to figure out: is there any way to weasel out of this situation? Um, I think Travis has no interaction in hand. I, I believe it was the lightning bolt and the narset are Travis's only cards in hand. So one blue left in pool. Make we, land drop. We are turn. in turn zero. Storm seven. One blue two or one blue two red. Grape shot. Remand the main copy. Grape shot you again. Yep. Oof. That's it. And then a just absolute barn burner marathon match. Wow. Uh, Kai is able to take it down against end boss Travis Cooper. Oh, man. This is you got to wonder. 
Do you think Travis knows about like the Manamorphose? That'd be interesting. Like, he'll definitely go back and watch it tonight, and yeah. you know, he'll tell me tomorrow whether the Manamorphose mattered. He likes to, <laughs> he likes to talk through stuff afterwards, especially because. You know, he's he likes to be. He's our analyst here in the yeah. booth a lot of the time, so he's a very analytical and intelligent stinker. I mean, thinker. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez, man. All right. Well, pairings for round four have just been posted, so we uh, we're gonna take a break here, bring you our final three-zero match, and uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> 